So you can position tanks up there very nicely to defend runbys into your third. However, there's two ramps up to where you can position them tanks. So you have to kind of hold both them ramps as well if you kind of gonna rely on tanks to hold the position there. And that means there's a lot of kind of positional play just to defend your three bases. And then when you try and take the fourth base, it gets really interesting because you can take the pocket expansion, but that's only a half base, six minerals, one gas. So while that's fine and it's much easier to defend, you actually see a lot of map control needed so that you can hold this base to the top or down to the bottom right hand corner or whichever position you're in as your fourth and you know that map control is very important the towers in this map are really cool as well like they show the middle but they don't show the edges so yeah it's really really cool i don't know what they're saying right now neither of us speak What's dutch it? but they're talking about us right now 40 like yeah yeah <laughs> i i'm actually really self-conscious now what are they saying are they saying beef is really good looking well observed well observed That's great. So you can't do it. yeah so we could talk to them but we're not refs. So, anyway, the guy... <laughs> I'm, I'm now going to watch chat for ages and just be like, what did they say yeah, about us? Chat, Let us translate, know. please. Um, where, where did... He, he asked a question. Hephaestus <laughs> so says, says Wardy. It says cool. So, all they, right. they all keep saying Wardy. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> but you Thermal, my boy, asked a question and said, Wardy or Beef? And Hephaestus responded with Wardy. So I'm gonna introduce my boy, the purple Terran. He's gotta go to bed soon. So he's gonna bring us one best of one right here on the right side of Abyssal City. He's you thermal. He's part of the Beast Nation. <laughs> and in the left hand side, we do have our pink zerg for Hephaestus. Both of these players qualified via this qualifier now for the DSCL and Great, of course, that way at least get to see one game as we do see the hatch first coming out for Feistas, followed by Pool and Euphermal just going for one Max Afi. Yeah, it, it's kind of interesting because I'm a Zerg player and you're a Terran player, and uh, we got chosen by uh, the opposite races. So. <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually understand like what even happened. I don't, I don't either, but I'm assuming they're asking who's better looking, and Hephaestus <laughs> said Wardy, and Euphermal's got my back. So, well, he's got the correct choice. I don't know, man. Pink, pink Siberias? Those things are pretty fly. We, we gave out a set of those this weekend at a land that I was at. Really? Yep. That's so nice. Like, really? Yeah, they're pretty nice. Uh, we, had, we had this conversation as well, right? Like, it was like the first like conversation we had today. It was like, hey, hey, I'm Wardy. Hey, I'm Beef. Nice Siberias. I yeah, <laughs> it's like, and then I was like, yeah, and then I of course talk about my Siberias for like twenty minutes, and I'm like, by the way, shall we uh, get expert going? Because I'm gonna be going to a lecture in five minutes or something. Yeah, we we just sat around and talked for like twenty minutes. Like, I got up at six thirty in the morning so we could get set up before today, and we talked for half an hour, and then did about twenty seconds of actually setting up the stream. <laughs> He's like, I gotta go to a lecture, and I'm like, okay, well I'll just do this later. No, <laughs> no big deal. But we do have a game going on right now. Like, I actually forgot that we have a game Believe going on. <laughs> Did you really? We see a double gas from Hephaestus um, very early on. i probably just going to be a Roach Blink Ling all in. Um, can't really see any other reason to get them two gases so early on here at all, really. Mm, I don't know. Maybe not. Might not be. Might just be early gas. Might want to go for a fast dish there, a bit faster than usual. We see uh, firm going for double, yeah, double factory. Ooh, it's going to be at least Hellion openers, which kind of usually indicates mech as well. But um, it's still possible he can go like into double tanks after this or something. Yeah, double. But yeah, he's probably going to go blue flame open. Yeah, blue flame open. I literally just threw my arms up in the air. Like I threw my arms in the air, like I just didn't care. But in fact, I really do care because I love watching mech against Zerg. I hate playing against it because I die. I love watching it. I'm like a self-hating Zerg. Watching drones and Zerglings get roasted by Hellions is actually one of the most satisfying things ever. Even though I'm the Zerg player. Weird. Weird. Now, Hellions are going to expose themselves down here six minutes in. Doesn't give away too much information uh, for our Terran player. But our Zerg now going with a uh, Evolution Chamber Roachworn wall up front. 
You're gonna be able to drop a spine crawler and a queen to actually make a full wall here. As a drone does come over and gonna be making its way down to the third. Yeah, and that is gonna be a third base from uh, Hephaestus. And, well, you know, I was obviously completely wrong suggesting it all in here. He is just gonna get the speed, he is just gonna get his double upgrades from the Eve Chamber. He's got the road drawn up, which is going to be useful, of course, against the Blue Flame Hellions. And initially, these four Hellions are actually going to pick off the drone at the third base. So, yeah, you film doing a nice job so far. And Hephaestus does have the road drawn up for some defense, so he shouldn't be really take that much damage from these Hellions overall. <laughs> Why are we seeing, we're seeing a fusion core going down? What? Do you reckon that's a misclick? No. I do this all the time. Like, like I actually, this sometimes is a I build a fusion transition. Core. You reckon? Yes. I reckon it actually is. Wow. He's hidden the starport. I'm looking <laughs> and I'm like, is this gonna Wait, be? Wait, where is? Is this gonna be? Where's the starport? Oh, there's the starport. He's hidden it. So where? In the bottom oh, right-hand corner of his main. This is. Oh my god! This no, no, no! Oh, okay, he's got a second one in the way now. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's going battle cruisers. He's going battle cruisers. He's going battle. Cattle cruisers. So of course, well, this match does not actually like matter for uh, getting into the actual finals or anything like that. So just showing us an awesome match here at U Thermal. What a cool guy! Um, so he's going two port battle cruiser expand or battle cruiser, three port battle cruiser off of two base right now. Um, and our Zerg player, what kind of an inclination can he actually? It, he's not going to be able to get any information about this whatsoever. Like. Well, I'm sure Hephaestus has played against this style before. I mean, it's very, very common. Okay. I, I thought you were being serious, like my sarcasm detector wasn't going off, and I'm like, well, let's just talk about that for a second, Wardy. I'm not so sure that this style is super common, as three battle cruisers are now on the way. Uh, not going to be going for any upgrades just yet. I don't think he really has the money for upgrades. Yeah. Over and to deal with the third once again, and are going to be able to force a cancel right here. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually um, like <laughs> this is amazing this is because work. it's actually not going to be. Oh, that's the spire. Has he just scouted it? No, that's he's no. going to mute us. That's oh, that's so unfortunate. It might still be enough. Oh, he's got your auto still... cannons. I reckon your you film has got this. I I think that you thermal is actually going to win this game. Like, he's hidden his build really well. Uh, the Hellions are buying time right now. There are going to be three to four battle cruisers done by the time that the Roaches actually make their way over there. Oh, banding bust! This could be bad. This could actually be. Terrible. Well, yeah, that could definitely be bad. But eventually, the battle cruisers will clean this up. The battle cruisers will reveal themselves. Well, come on, Vice Dash, what you got to say about this? Banelands, are you going to go in? The battle cruisers are not target firing Banelands right now, which they need to. And now they're going to save start the target ball. firing, and well, that bunker on the front has three Marines loaded into it. These battle cruisers. Oh, Hellions is natural. Yeah, Hellions over here doing a lot of damage. How many drones were they able to kill? Twenty drones. But how many SCVs are going to be lost right now? A couple of Banelands might be able to make some connections. Uh, 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 uh. Needs to target fire them in a oh. good block there with Hellions. the Hellions. Gonna be able to actually clean this up with the battle cruisers as well, and somehow this is you thermal, <laughs> my boy, the beef nation prevails. So far, the game of course is not over, but it's pretty much over. Oh my God, you that thermal! That was awesome. I told you, this is a build that is viable. It's something you see a lot on the ladder, and if I start, well, obviously, okay, I shut up. Maybe it's just more common at like the higher end of ladder, like where you film plays. Not saying Hephaestus is low, but you film is like top of the top, top eight GM. That's where the kind of big boy battle cruiser players come out. I'm actually kind of worried for uh, Hephaestus right now. I am he doesn't have that much. Hephaestus. I was trying to see if chat was going to translate for us, but nobody ever no. wanted to translate for us. They're just leaving us hanging, Wardy. They said don't, it'll be funnier to watch them figure it out. I'm, so. I'm not going to figure it out as corruptors are coming out here, <laughs> not even the motto! And, uh, whoo, baby. Well, is you just killing everything. The corruptors just going he, down one at a time. And you, Thermal, uh, he's looking good with the special one. This special one thing is not even like an actual thing. This is like, we're going best to one because I'm cowardly in it. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I think Hephaestus will probably be a bit like, really? <laughs> 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 well, man, and you feel 
actually takes it. <laughs> you thermal! Your victor here! Very well played indeed. That's